Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is the game. Jeremy McWilliams. Remember the name. What's up my limitless peeps? Welcome to the video. Today we are back at Ross, which is right there. I got another VIP parking spot, so I think we might, fingers crossed, have some good luck like we did yesterday at the Ultimate Ross. If you guys don't watch the video yet about me going sneaker hunting at the Ultimate Ross in Burlington, I ended up finding two pairs of Jordan Elevation 23 and the colorway was called long shot it's like a university red slash black and from the little bit of research i did when i was listing the shoes it seems like it's the rarest colorway by quite a bit which means it sells for the most cha-ching so i got it's 244 gotta pick little man up from school on three and then go get him a halloween costume but for now we got about maybe 12 minutes or so to head into that Ross see if they got any good treasure maybe hopefully they'll have some more pairs of those exact Jordan elevation wait actually I think they were called Jordan flying it elevation 23s whatever we'll take any colorway but like I said it's crunch time we don't have much time I'm gonna try and hit this Ross as fast as I can maybe even hit that Marshall's next door so I'll see you guys inside and here we go like i said we're looking mostly looking for those same jordan elevation flying at 23s but if we see anything else that looks good definitely take a look at those as well let's see what we got not seeing anything yet the heck are these hmm, really interesting see what ross wants for these dudes 54.99 so I guess we found our first pair to look at Let's see what else we got heck are these we still have a similar looking pair of these shoes at home so we'll take a look at these two man a focus though what is going on with the focus there we go project rock project rock project rock and I'll see them. come on Rocky where you hiding at Nope, not heading over there. What about this one? Dang it. Well, these are Under Armors, and take a look at that comparable value 142. Ross wants 59.99, which is a lot for Under Armour shoes at Ross. So, I guess we'll take a look at those real quick too. So now we got three. Let's see if we can find one or two more. Not seeing much. Definitely not any more of those Jordan flying elevations that we were looking for. But let's take a peek at these. Hopefully we got something good. Well, first up is these Under Armors, and this is what we're looking at on eBay. Those are all bids. Let's go down to us and buy it now. Prices 88, 88, 89, 99, 89, 99, 109, 99. Let's see if they're actually selling. All right, sort of by the lowest price. $48, not what we're looking for. 53, 60, 60, 65, 65, 66, 72, 85. All right, so it's gonna be a strong pass on these guys. Up next is these Jordan Proto Reacts. This is what we're looking at on eBay. It's so once again, sort of by lowest price. Oh, I'm sorry, lowest price. All right, 69, 75, 76, 90. All right, let's see what they're selling for. Sixty-nine, seventy-six, and that is it. So looks like that's gonna be another nope. Last but not least, we got these interesting-looking guys for forty-four ninety-nine, and this is what we're working with: eighty-eight, sixty, seventy, seventy, fifty. <laughs> and how much they want again? $44.99. So, looks like we got another addition to the nope pile. Well, guys, we came, we saw, and we did not conquer. 
but we looked, did the best we could with the limited amount of time that we had. So all in all, it's all good. You gotta check, or at least I always gotta check if I find some really good sneakers or shoes at like a certain Ross location. There's like three Ross locations pretty close to me within like 10, 15 minutes. So if I find a good pair of sneakers or shoes at one of them, I always gotta check the other two within like the next day. If I don't, I can't sleep at night. My conscience is all jacked up because I'm constantly thinking that those other Ross stores definitely have some more of those good shoes or sneakers that I found at that one Ross store. So conscience cleared, now we can move on with our day. Obviously, I didn't have enough time to check out that Marshalls that was right next door. But honestly, the past like two or three times I went there, and eh, maybe the past two times there's been nothing. But the two times before that, I did find, I wanna say like four or five pretty decent finds in the clearance section. So if you're interested in reselling shoes or sneakers on eBay or StockX or GOAT, all these stores like Burlington, Ross, and Marshalls are always, always, always very hit or miss. You can go there one day and there will be absolutely nothing. You can go to the exact same store the very next day and you can find all kinds of treasure. It really is just a game of luck. So uh, I'm fortunate to live by a ton of those types of stores. So I do my best when I can to get out and look for some treasure. Anyways, my dudes. The next day. Happy Saturday. Back at it again at the Sanford Ross right over there and the Sanford Marshalls. Came to this Ross once again, even though I was just here yesterday, to make another return. Today, I'm returning a Florida State football jersey that has been on eBay for right around a month. Not too many bites, so it's going back. And even though we were just here yesterday around, what was it, 2 something p.m., I'm hoping, fingers crossed, like always, that they did a nice little restock and it's waiting for me right inside. I doubt it because it's been raining all day. It's been really crappy weather. The rain just let up. And it seems like everyone and their mom decided to come out to this little shopping center and it's packed. People walking around everywhere. So chances are, if there was any good sneakers or treasure in there, it's probably already gone. Either way, I gotta go inside anyways to return the jersey. So when in Rome, let's do it. Well, I went through the shoe section real quick and what do you know? It looks pretty much the same as we left it yesterday except those two pairs that I checked out on video are actually gone now. Other than that, it looks pretty much exactly the same. Nothing new, nothing good. So I was checking out the jerseys and what do you know? I found an Ohio State jersey. The retail on this thing is 100 Ross Wands, $19.99. If you guys are familiar with me, you know me. I'm a huge Michigan fan, so something about buying an Ohio State jersey just uh, does not seem right to me. But if I can flip it for some cash, I guess it's all right. Ohio State's definitely one of the most popular teams in college football. Unfortunately, hate to admit it, but one of the best right now as well. So this should be a pretty easy flip, but it is white. So I'm gonna look it over, make sure there's no marks, make sure it's clean. A few moments later. Man, this is always the problem with stuff that's all white at Ross. There's almost always, like 99% of the time, some marks on it. And it seems like there's quite a decent amount of dirt on here or something. I think half the time people just drop it, then other people end up stepping on it without picking it up. And this is what you get. So probably gonna leave this dude behind. Unless, uh, maybe I'll see if I can get a discount. The only problem is if you get a discount at like a Ross, they'll give you like 15% off, but then you can't return it. And I definitely 100% do not wanna get stuck with this crap in my closet. Well, I moved on to the Marshalls right next door. Well, walking out of the Sanford Marshalls right now. Didn't record anything because I was on the phone, but no worries. There was absolutely nothing to record at all. Nothing. And what do you know? It's the same exact story at the Sanford Ross. Nothing, nothing, nothing. No shirts, no jerseys, no jackets, no shoes, no sneakers. So that is definitely a wrap for the Sanford Marshalls and Ross. We came, we saw, once again, we did not conquer. You win some, you lose some, part of the game. It's all part of the reselling game. Well, my dudes, like I said, it was crazy in there. The Ross Sanford is always pretty crazy. That store always looks like a tornado just came through it. It's coming! I 
have a pretty good feeling since like I said earlier in this video that those shoes I showed you guys from yesterday the other was it two pairs of shoes we looked up one of them was Jordan's and one was funky looking Nikes didn't end up picking up either of them I put them back and like I said they're both gone today which means in my mind I'm probably not the only reseller around here there's probably some other people doing the same damn thing which sucks for me I wish I lived in a town where uh I was the only fish in the pond. Even if I was the big fish in the small ponds, I'm cool with that, because then I get all the goods, man. I get all the treasure. Might sound selfish, but gotta look out for yourself, right? <laughs> Anywho, it's all good. Moving on. Off to the Sanford Burlington we go. I'm not too optimistic that we'll find anything there either, but I'm over here. May as well check it out. Maybe we'll have better luck there. I don't know, man. Today is not our day, but luck can turn around like that. So let's head to Burlington. Let's see what we're working with. And that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. Cause Stone Cold sets up. Well guys, change of plans. I was talking to my friend Siri, you guys know Siri, right? And I was like, you know what, let's see if there's any other Rosses around here that I don't know about. And what do you know? There's one, like, I think it was like 10 minutes away from where I was. So here we are. I have no idea how I didn't know about this one because that Walmart right over there is the closest Walmart to where I used to live and the Ross is almost right next to it. Anyways, I wasn't reselling back then so that's probably why I wasn't exactly going to a Ross on the regular like I do these days. Thank you, Rain. You couldn't wait till I went inside. <laughs> oh boy. So anyways, I'm gonna run inside. Now I got three Rosses that I'll be checking on the regular. Hopefully we have better luck at this one than the Sanford one. Never ended up going to Burlington. So uh, this is gonna be the last stop on the Treasure Hunting Express. Let's go. I feel like it's Christmas. I always get so excited when I go to a brand new Ross store that I've never been to, or Marshalls or Burlington for that matter. What do we have here? These things look kind of big, but they are some type of George 13. It's not too big. Check these dudes out. Let's see what else we got. One minute, 37 seconds later. Well, did a quick run through, and this is what I got. Check out all these bad boys. You guys should recognize these if you watched the last video. I can't believe I found two more of these. They were a good find last time. Definitely still a good find this time. We got a size 9 and a size 11. Then we got two of these. These are actually the exact same shoe, just different colorways. The lie detector determined that was a lie. <laughs> They're called uh, like Nike Air Jordan Pro React or something like that. And we got these, which I think... They're $64.99. I'm pretty sure we looked these up at Ross a couple days ago. Except I think they were white and they didn't resell good. And these I've looked up a couple times. The Nike Zoom Cage 3 tennis shoes. I already have two sent at home. Haven't sold yet so probably won't get those. Then we got these guys. Not sure what they are. But I like the color. And they're $39.99 so we'll definitely check those out. And then I thought these two were going to be the best finds. But check these guys out. The Air Maxes which I'm pretty sure they're a special edition because check out that little symbol slash logo. It's on the inside too. What's I want for these? $54.99? All right, we're going to look these dudes up first. So let's see what we're working with. All right, here we go. This is what they're called. Nike Air Max Zero QS Metallic Silver. So I always sort by the lowest price plus shipping. So that's the lowest they sold for. You got 99 105 109 109 144 See what they're listed for. Once again, sort by lowest. And that's what we're working with. 111, 120, 132, 145, 150, 150, 145, 175, and 180. I would say this is a pretty good find. Size 9. Once again, Ross wants $54.99. So, definitely grab those dudes. What's next? We'll look at these guys, the bright highlighter shoes, which also might be tennis shoes that's my guess let's check them out 
All right, so here's what we got going on with the Nike Court Air Zoom Zero. Looks like a guest right tennis shoes. This one they're listed at 75, 70, 76, 89, 89, 70, 90, 90. All right, let's see if they're selling. Ooh, 50 bucks, <laughs> not what we want to see. 99, 95, and 89. All right, so how much does Ross want for him again? 39.99. Hmm. I have to think about those ones. What's next? We'll go ahead and check out these guys next. Here we go. This is what we're looking at for the pink-ish Air Jordan Proto Max 720s. The lowest ones listed for 100, 115, 99, 110, 110, 110, 120, 120. Alright, see what they're selling for. One recently sold for eh, 75, 100, 113, 140. That one I bet you is a bid, and that one probably is too. Let's see what size these guys again. 13, and Ross wants what are we working with. Ooh, more expensive than I thought. 69.99. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Kind of weird because I'm pretty sure it's the same exact shoe, and these ones are only 59.99. I don't know what's up with that. Comparable value on this one, 113. On the crimson one slash pink, 150. All right, I guess we'll check these ones next. Well, I guess they're not the same shoe. To me, they look like they're like the exact same shoe. What do you guys think? Both have that back strap that says Jumpman 23. My bad. Yeah, the bottoms are different. This has more like the Air Max bottom going on, and this one has that little design going on. Other than that though, they look pretty similar. All right, anyways, let's see what we're working with. The lowest one price right now is 70, 79, 85, 85, 85, 85, 85. All right, so a lot of 85s. Let's see what they're selling for. Ooh, not what I want to see. 57, 78, 72, and 80. Hmm, all right, probably gonna pass on those ones. Going back to these dudes real quick, size 13. I'm just gonna run through this one more time real quick. See, we got a size 14 that sold September 29th for $113.50 plus shipping. And then that one sold in August. Another size 13 for, well, it was best offer, but 100 and something. I think I'll take a chance on these ones. These seem like they're pretty rare, so I think I'm gonna take a chance on these ones. Definitely picking up the Jordan Flyknit Elevation 23, 59.99. I think I have mine listed for 125, so that's a pretty decent flip. Well, my dudes, here is the final haul. This is the definite yeses. This one's the maybe, and these are, you know. I checked all four of these out real quick to make sure they were clean, no scuffs, no marks, no funny business. They all check out, they all look good. So I'm gonna go uh, check out, see if I can find any jerseys or something, and take a little time to think about these dudes. Then we'll head to the checkout, and then we'll head out. Well, this is the first time in a while, I actually had to get a car to Ross, because the haul is getting a little bit on the big side. But that, my friends, is definitely a good thing. I'm not mad about that problem. I'm do one more quick little run through just to make sure there's nothing I'm missing. And then we're off to the jersey section. Well, found another one. Another one. These, what are they? Nike Vapor Flyknit football cleats. Ross wants, where's that price ticket? 1999. They're size 8.5. And, and this is what we're working with. Nothing too crazy. But 59. 59 dollars 56 79 85 70 79 80 60 So yeah, they sell pretty consistently for at least 60 bucks, And they're only 20 so $40 profit. Not too bad. Go ahead and grab these dudes too. And our good finds family it continues to grow. All right, guys. I'm going to keep it real. Super dehydrated right now. Haven't ate in a long time. I'm starting to get dizzy. Feeling like I'm about to pass out again. My vision's starting to get a little bit blurry. So uh, I gotta hurry up and wrap this up. Still haven't checked out the jerseys yet because I found a couple more pairs of shoes to look up like these Cortezes, which seem like they're pretty rare. I don't know exactly what they're called. There's only like three of them listed on eBay. Ross wants 55 for them. I think they were listed right around 100. But like I said, three listings, nothing sold recently. So eh, I'll probably leave these ones here. Size seven too, super small. And here we go, the final haul. We ended up getting one, two, three, 
for five pairs of shoes. And the only thing I didn't show you guys in the store was this red Ohio State jersey. This one's actually a much better find than that white one that I showed you earlier in the video. It's a RJ Barrett jersey and where's that price tag at? The retail is 100 and I'm pretty sure it was $19.99. Yep, this one should sell for at least like 60 bucks. So pretty happy about that, even though it's Ohio State. And I hate them because I'm a Michigan fan, but you know what? If they're making me money, I think I can roll with that. Well guys, without a doubt, I'd say we definitely saved the best for last. I'm glad I finally found out about this Ross. Like I said, I'm definitely gonna start including it in my regular Ross rotation. So now I got three within 10 minutes of me. I like it. And their shoe section was at least like twice the size of the Lake Mary and the Sanford one. That's definitely the best uh, haul, I guess you could say, in that I've had at one store in quite a while. So all in all, pretty stoked about it. Started off rough, really rough. That Ross and Marshalls, it wasn't pretty, guys. It was not pretty. But saved the best for last. We redeemed ourselves, found some treasure, and all is good in the world. <laughs> if you guys were wondering, at times, I'm sure when I go back and watch this, when I'm editing it, it will be even more obvious. But I know at times when I was recording, you guys probably noticed that the screen was shaking like crazy. Well, I promise, at least I don't think there was an earthquake in there. But like I mentioned, I was super dehydrated. I haven't ate in like seven hours. And I take a bunch of medicine from my UC. And if I don't, well, it makes me shaky anyways, especially my hands. My hands will get like super shaky because of some of the medicine I have to take, but it gets a lot worse when uh, I'm dehydrated and I don't eat. So uh, if you guys are wondering why the camera was shaking so much, my bad. That's the reason though. Anyways guys, I'm gonna go grab some food before I pass out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought about the finds down below and let me know what you think about that uh, pair that I left behind. The, what was it? Nike highlighter looking tennis shoes, the bright yellow or bright green ones. Still kind of on the edge about those, but I think we got some good finds. So like I said, I'm happy about it. And I hope you guys are happy with the video. With that said, that is a wrap for this video. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. And as always, stay limitless. Take a shot, you got everything you'll ever need. You fought, you're not gonna let up on the speed. Those knots, they got you, were only make believe. Those